please welcome Director of Graphics, Natalia Tatarchuk. Thank you, Brett. Hello. Next Level Rendering is our approach to unleash team creativity in an effort to produce amazing and beautiful visual experiences across all platforms. There are two key components when I think about this. First, it is about rendering technology. It is about being able to harness the power of platform diversity, performance of CPU and GPU, multi-core architecture, support for foreign factors like monster PCs, consoles, low-end mobiles. You've heard a lot about all the variety of devices that we service. Second, it is about artists' workflows. We want to give artists control to own the creation experience end-to-end -end with visual tools, working in the context of the production environment they're in and the production project that they're doing, owning results from creation point starting to the final debugging profiling through to ship. And that's a lot. Let's dive into the rendering technology aspects first. So of course, you just saw from Isabel, lots of different game experiences get created with Unity. From cinematic high-end experiences, rendering in real time in 3D, to 2D pixel art performers, to mobile games, AR, VR, and many, many more. And in fact, we don't even know what you guys will come up with, and that's the exciting part. And while Unity can deliver many experiences, what we wanted to do is to have its rendering engine evolve and offer both more power and more flexibility. Yep, we tried to do the impossible. So we went back to the drawing board with one goal in mind, to deliver one core rendering architecture, which is capable of serving the diverse outcomes without sacrificing performance or quality. This is not a small undertaking. In fact, this is a major conceptual shift for the way the Unity graphics has been working. We want our creators to access the power of modern hardware and GPUs. We want to offer a powerful and open real-time rendering engine, not a black box. We don't want you to have to learn millions and millions of lines of C++ code. I find that exciting, but you might not. It should be easily customizable, accessible through C-sharp scripts and shaders. And we also want to make sure we set you up for success with out-of-the-box optimized templates for specific needs that you might have for a fast and easy start with the best looking results. So how do we do that? The answer for us is the scriptable render pipeline architecture, or in short, SRP. This is our new architecture that allows extensive customizability of rendering. It provides an open API, and you can write your own renderer fairly easily. We actually give you two as a starting point out of the box for you to use immediately for your own projects as you wish, or to actually build from to create your own custom solution. And it has many strengths. It is highly configurable. You can perform rendering in Unity, as I mentioned, with C-sharp scripts and shaders. It is lean. You can take only what you need. You don't need to bloat your rendering pipeline with things you don't care about. And most importantly, it is user-centric. It lives in user space. It's easy to debug, it's easy to extend, and easy to modify. Scriptable Render Pipeline is the overall architecture that gives us the framework and gives you the framework to write your own rendering pipeline. Now, we're giving two options, as I mentioned, for you to start from. And what we've done is we really look to cover different ends of the spectrum, and that's what you see here. The super high-end visual fidelity HD rendering pipeline, which is covering the really high fidelity experiences, all the way to lightweight rendering pipeline. The lightweight SRP is heavily optimized for performance, supports every Unity platform, from low-end mobile phones to high-end PC experiences, scaling with the user performance and the capability of platforms. The key thing about Lightweight Pipeline is it's super accessible. It's very friendly. It's easy to start for new users. We also made sure that we optimize the physically-based rendering for the Lightweight Pipeline 
so that it can render better, with better performance on those low-end mobiles on AR and VR devices. We improved lighting fidelity. Everything is linear, predictable. And we gave you a ton of controls to make sure you have right attenuation parameters, fading, better options for lighting, so that you create beautiful things with this. Now, HD rendering, in contrast, is the pipeline that prioritizes stunning, high-fidelity visuals, of course, with performant results. What we made sure is that it's designed for GPU compute-capable consoles and PC hardware. So as you can see, Unity Graphics is evolving. And it's evolving into a powerful, configurable, performant ecosystem. However, and I am an engineer, but it's not all about engineering. I firmly believe that beautiful graphics cannot come to life without the creative force, the artists. Only they are able to bring the spark of life to any algorithm that without their touch will just merely twinkle and fall on the ground. So I want you guys to hear from the demo team, which is a tour de force creative team that has been a core part of the evolving graphics frontier in Unity. Thank you. Please welcome demo team producer, Sylvia Rasheva. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Uh, Unity's demo team consists of artists and programmers with many years of game development experience. We create content to drive advanced usage of the Unity engine and push the envelope of what is possible to achieve with our technology, both now and in the future. In a way, we are a user within the company, because we work in very close collaboration with Unity's R&D, all teams across R&D, and we are usually the first to try out new features and technologies as they are being developed, specifically around graphics. Our team is distributed. We are located in seven different cities across Europe, and we have seven different nationalities on the team. Cities and nationalities not necessarily coinciding. Our production and environment is entirely virtual, with Unity being the creative platform where everyone's work gets pushed together. As a creative team, uh, we have a distinct creative style, um, and we, 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 we do care about the narratives. We do care about the aesthetics, specific themes that we want to explore that span beyond what is strictly speci speaking necessary for a technical demonstration. You've probably seen some of our work. Our short film, The Blacksmith, it supported the release of Unity 5, which premiered physically-based shading in Unity and real-time global illumination in Unity. To this day, we continue to, be, to have a lot of fondness for Nordic-inspired themes. While we were creating our short film, Adam, we made use of all of the latest improvements and all of the latest advancements in Unity graphics that were available back in 2016 when it was released, including shading, lighting, post-processing, as well as the timeline feature. Neon was a small side project made almost just for fun, and it was created entirely with assets from the Unity Asset Store. It was very quick to prototype while still looking good due to the latest and most improved post-processing stack. And our latest project is Book of the Dead. This time, we are making an interactive experience. It is built on all of the rendering innovations that are coming with Unity in 2018. We will keep working on this project throughout the entire year as we continue to support and the constantly um, evolving and constantly improving uh, graphics features within Unity. I will leave you with a brief look at Book of the Dead. Thank you. Wow. 
Well, look at that. I didn't think you had it in you. Tell me more about this place. You spent nearly 90 years there. What? No. No, not there. The forest is just the lobby. That's where the entrance is. I've been thinking, how do I remember all this? When did I make these memories? You need a brain to make memories. Your brain is now remembering things that never happened to you, or to it. An enormous amount of neuron connections were formed since you came back. Decades of work remembering conditions. And there's one more thing you need to do. Karen? Hey? Karen? Yeah, sorry. Are you all right? Yes, I'm... I'm just tired. Tell me, did you see any of the others? Yes. Damn near fainted. Even though he had told me about them. You think that was one of them? I know. You're the only one who woke up, Karen. One out of tens of thousands. Why? 